Welcome to America's Healer with Dr. Jason West. Dr. West and his guest experts are about to open your eyes to a whole new perspective on the medical world. Now, here is your host, world-renowned Dr. Jason West. Hello, everyone. I'm so excited about today's show. It's about interference fields, the reason why we get sick, and barriers to healing. It's stuff that you are not going to find anywhere else. You're not going to find this in the traditional medical pathway and almost all natural or alternative medicine pathway really hasn't given this a voice or a language. So stick around if you are sick and not reaching the levels that you would like, or if you have a loved one or someone that you care about that is stuck or plateaued, like this is the show for you. So barriers to healing, interference fields, why we don't get better, the problems with the system, reason why we get, like we're going to cover all of it. So thanks so much for joining me. If you haven't been able to check out our show website, it's www.americashealer.com. We have some wonderful free resources over there. We have a free ebook of why we get sick and what to do about it. We also have an evaluation which can help you to get the building blocks so that you can have a better, higher, lovely quality of life. And so I'm really excited about that. I also wanted to share with you uh, the link on of our show of our patient success stories, because it's not just me saying it. I have the wonderful ability to go to work every day and see these wonderful outcomes of people beating conditions like Parkinson's disease. Like that was one that we, we have a wonderful testimony of Richard We have a a really wonderful cancer support uh, therapy with charity. We have an amazing response to Raynaud's phenomenon that is a circulation problem. If you get too cold with some people, their hands or their fingers, they'll turn white or purple or red. And we, one of our patient success stories, like he couldn't get his hands cold at all. We were able to really help his nervous system. Um, There's a, a story over there about... Um, A young boy that had failure to thrive that we've been able to help enormously to have a normal growth spurt in his teenage years. Just just fun stories that you can check this out at DailyDoseVitaminH.com. That's our patient success blog. As always, we'd like to thank our sponsors, the West Clinic that is 107 years old. It's, and a lot of the stuff that I'm sharing with you, my great grandfather taught my grandfather, my grandfather taught my dad, my dad taught me, and I've learned a ton of working with patients inside of the trenches, which means I get to work with them every single day. Also wanted to thank Personalized NX. This is a company that literally makes custom vitamins for different healthcare conditions, and they are one of the sponsors of the show. So let's get started and start talking about interference fields and why so many people don't get better in the medical system. And, and I want to be careful how I say this because the, there's some wonderful people in the medical system. There's some really, really good treatments for conditions. But what I'm talking about specifically is the chronic disease world. In the chronic disease world are fibromyalgia, chronic fatigue syndrome, uh, mixed connective tissue to different types of arthritis. We have a wonderful lupus success story where I just want to challenge the paradigm that autoimmune is not one day where your body wakes up and thinks, oh, I don't like my nerves. I don't like my muscles. I don't like my joints or my thyroid. And it starts to attack it. So this is one of the things that I'm excited to share with you is interference fields. It's so important. It's a lot more widely utilized in Europe. It actually has some roots in Germany. And now we get to share with you. And before we jump right into interference fields, I just wanted to share with you a couple ideas about health because I I love this Arabian proverb, he who has health has a thousand dreams. He who does not has only one. So like health's only important if it gets compromised or you lose it. And, and one of the things that I love sharing with people every day is about this vitamin called vitamin H, which isn't a real vitamin, it's vitamin hope. Because if we can help 
start this pathway of building your body back. And we can put the building blocks in and the vitamins and the minerals and these um, amino acids, and we can help the immune system and, and we can give the brain fuel. Then what happens is we literally see this everyday people can beat their disease. And so out of all the things that are happening in the world right now with, with economy and artificial intelligence and, and stress and, and everybody has a, a battle or a pathway. Like I've, I have yet to meet someone that doesn't have something that they're working on, you know, a relationship, their health, their finances, their job, their kids, their aging parents. Like there's something that everybody is dealing with and stress is not really a disease. It just makes every disease worse. And there's a lot of terrible information about health diseases, especially chronic diseases, are not effectively treated with prescription medicines and surgery. And that's what most people are taught. And then there's, you know, a doctor out there and I'm joking when I say this Dr. Google, which has this amazing and det detrimental information source. It's amazing because information is available and it's hard on people because there's misinformation available. So I'm, I'm hoping that you'll keep an open mind on this because there's a century of healing and information that's coming at you on this show and because it's so wonderful to be able to reference people's success story of, of Gene, of Gay, of Richard, of Stephen, oh, oh, man, and, and Charity. Like we just had this wonderful patient story about beating a cancer through a non-traditional pathway. And there's, there's ways out there where that people can beat the Z. So I've seen protocols and treatments and therapies to improve so many different conditions. And it's just not a system where we're saying, Hey, take two of these and call me tomorrow. So like when I start putting people back together again, I think there's a couple different steps that really helps you to break through barriers to healing and how you can beat your disease. So the first thing, it kind of seems like, you know, common sense, but what it is is that we're responsible for our health. You know, I, and I recognize it may, we may be a victim of an accident or we can get bad genetic information from mom and dad and we can get it activated in the environment. But there's also a pathway forward for those conditions. And so the first step is like we've got to get rid of, of comparison syndrome and comparison syndrome is a really nice way to make yourself unhappy. And it's not intentional, but we have a tendency, everyone, of, oh, I'm going to compare myself at my low spot to people at their best or their highest, or we don't know them as well. And so if we're not careful, we can really beat ourselves up on saying, well, you know, it's just not fair. And I, I saw a little post, um, a motivational post on Instagram last night. It was saying, you know, life isn't fair. It's not meant to be, and it never will be. And if we start getting into the fairness trap, it's really hard on ourselves. So instead, it's it's easier said than done, but to accept our pathway for, you know, we are on this pathway and, and there is there a purpose behind it? Well, I think that there is. And then when we become aware that it's just our own individual pathway and we learn about, you know, the body and the symptoms and conditions and treatments and available treatment options it starts to open up a, a universe or an option to be able to start balancing things. And, and I love it. So like a lot of things that we're going to talk about relate to conditions like, you know, Lyme disease and chronic Lyme disease, fibromyalgia, neuropathy, the different types of arthritis, uh, asthma, diabetes, type two stomach problems. And I think that universally, almost everyone that comes into our office starts off with a stomach problem and it, it may not be necessarily bloating or indigestion or heart being or heartburn, but it can be related to what you're eating and what you ab absorb. And so one of the fun things to talk about is to be like, all right, let's start on a pathway. And, and one of the first pathways is to see that there's other people beating your disease. Like so many times people say, well, I want to hear about, you know, what you're doing for lupus, or I want to hear what you're doing for Hashimoto's, or I want to hear about what you're doing for multiple sclerosis or ankylosing spondylitis or arthritis. And there's, 
there's wonderful success stories of not just me saying it, people living it. So I think the best place to start with the segment is talking about like why we get sick and why, why things happen. And, and I think the best way to describe it is it's all about balance because balanced people don't get sick. Balanced people don't have symptoms. And so I think there's a couple, you know, things that we need to be aware of on like what got us off center, what got us in a balance. So I think the number one thing is lifestyle and, and sometimes people are aware of it and not aware of it. I mean, I had a patient I was working up with yesterday with an autoimmune disorder saying, look, I've been diagnosed with rheumatoid arthritis and, and I really want to put myself back together. And so I said, walk me through a day of your life. I think this is one of the most important things that I've learned. And also one of the things that I don't think a lot of healthcare providers really delve into this. Like they always ask about your family history and, and sometimes they ask about your diet, but it's not always that they ask about, you know, family history and walking through a day of your life and your sleeping sanctuary. And is there a way for stress management? And you know, for instance, the patient that was saying I had rheumatoid arthritis, she said, well, I said, how are you taking care of yourself? Are you eating clean? Oh yeah, I'm eating clean. Well, how are you sleeping? Well, I, I could sleep a little bit better. Well, what are you drinking? And, and she kind of smiled a little bit and she's like, well, this is the part that you're going to tell me to not drink Diet Pepsi. And I said, well, no one wants to be in the principal's office. No one wants to get a lecture, but I wouldn't be a good doctor if I didn't tell you that drinking acid has got to be really hard on your joints. Like, think about this for a minute. We have an acidic stomach. And then if we put acid into our stomach, guess what the body has to do? The body has to balance out. So we're going to take things from the organs and tissues and specifically for the joints. And we're going to put it into the stomach system to balance things out. So if we want to create a deficiency, like we just have to overload the equation. And she looked at me and she's like, yeah, you know, that makes a lot of sense. I kind of knew you're going to tell me that a lot of times when we start on a chronic disease pathway, one of the things that I can really do to help people is to remind them of the truths that they have inside of their body so they can take a responsibility to change. And so this is one of my favorite things to do. And as a reminder of, yes, we shouldn't be putting acid into your system. Another barrier for healing is magic bullet treatments, which is the false idea that we can just take a pill, we can take a prescription, we can do a medical procedure, you know, we can do liposuction for removing unwanted stored energy or adipose tissue. And if we don't change our lifestyle, if we don't change what we're doing, like it's just going to come back. We're thinking that surgery is automatically going to fix something. And I'm, I'm great. I've had a couple different surgeries, broken bones, broken kneecap, broken collarbone that like it had to be put back together. And I'm so grateful for the surgeons that did it, but also that there's surger, surgeries that are directly related to lifestyle, that the surgery is a quick fix. But anytime we open up the body, there can be intended and unintended consequences and an over-reliance of, well, I have a blood pressure problem, so I'm just going to take a beta blocker or a calcium channel blocker or a diuretic, or, uh, you know, I, I'm at risk for cardiovascular disease. So I'm just going to take, you know, this cholesterol medicine. It, it doesn't always work that way. So much a, a better way is, okay, let's talk about how we can put the body back in, in homeostasis or back in balance. There's emotional conflict triggers which like it's stress and how we let things affect ourselves. And there's so many wonderful resources available with the biology of belief, which is one of my very favorite books. Another one is really good as letting go and, and being able to recognize like, like the circumstances around our lives, we can, they are going to happen, but it's a matter of pers perspective of what's going to happen. So, so let me give you an example. I'm working with my life coach. His name is Bill, a big shout out to him where he said, Jason, you know, what's happening out there is so important to have the right perspective. So if I walk out of, of, of my work with my life coach and I'm getting ready to get into my car 
And I hear this shout and my counselor comes out and he pushes me really hard and I get out of the way and, and, and I fall down and I scrape my knee and I scrape my chin. He said, what is your response? My first response is, well, I would jump up and I would be angry. Like, why did you push me? Like, and I, I would verbalize. I didn't appreciate the push and I might, I'm going to be really upset. He said, that is if you don't understand context. What if I turned to you and said, right when I pushed you, it's because there was an out of control car that it would have literally hit you if I wouldn't have pushed you out of the way. Do you think that would change your perspective? And my answer is, of course it would. Like I would turn from angry to, oh my gosh, thank you for saving my life. And the reason why I wanted to give that example is because stress isn't a disease. It just makes every disease worse. And it's so important to have a stress outlet. And for some people, it is you know, going on a walk or gardening and other people, it's prayer or meditation. A lot of people tell me exercise is so helpful, but sometimes I don't have the time. It's too hard to exercise. Uh, One of my favorite things, I love journaling. I think it's so good to connect the right and left side of your body and it strengthens up the connection, that corpus callosum. It's really, really good for that. I love talking to myself. So many times my team or my family will catch me talking to myself. And and I always have that fleeting thought of, they think that I've lost it. I'm going crazy. But I love talking to the most important person in my life. And that's me. So that's one way that you can handle stress. Everybody that has a chronic health problem, I'm saying, look, you got to find a stress outlet. And of course, there's environmental triggers of, you know, of something that's going to happen that's going to express some, some genes if we, if we let it and pollutions and environment and toxins and heavy metals. And of course, there can be wrong doctors, wrong treatments, financial obstacles to the treatments and of course, the one thing that is always undefeated is it's father time and wearing out. So, so there's some, some things that are factors and barriers to healing. And, and of course, we want to get into, I think, the most important thing, and that is interference fields, things that block your energy and block flow and blocks the, the ability for the nervous system to, to heal. I mean, there is this thing that's so important called nerve memory and nerve memory is when your mind knows what it's like to be healthy and, and you know how you want to live. And what happens is the nervous system, if you've been sick for a long time, or there's things that aren't balanced inside of your body, that the nervous system will be like, look, we are meant to be sick. And if your body was a computer and we called tech support and said the computer isn't working right, tech support is going to say well, we need to reboot the system. And that's all what's coming up after the break is, is this amazing ability to remove interference fields and get the body to reset. It's part of the healing process. I'm Dr. Jason West. You're listening to America's Healer on Voice America Radio. We're also syndicated on a couple different platforms. You're going to want to stick around because we're going to go over a higher depth into barriers of healing. We're also going to be talking about how to remove interference fields right after the break. We'll see you right after that. Follow Voice America at Facebook.com forward slash Voice America for juicy updates from your favorite radio shows and podcasts. Everything you know about the medical industry is about to change. That is when you tune in to America's Healer with Dr. Jason West. Dr. West will challenge the currently accepted status quo of medical procedures and remedies, and you'll learn about medicinal topics from a whole new perspective. America's Healer with Dr. Jason West, Fridays at 12 p.m. on the Voice America Health and Wellness Channel. Have you become a member yet? Sign up now to become a member of Voice America. It's always free and easy. Plus, you get to take advantage of some great member benefits. Get unlimited access to millions of hours of on-demand content across all of our channels. Keep track of your favorite episodes, shows, and hosts in your own customizable library. Find out what shows you might be interested in based on your favorites. Plus, you get insider access with our newsletter. Membership gives you more. Sign up at voiceamerica.com and click register at the top right. Can grief be good for you? Absolutely. Absolutely. 
It gets your attention, helping you evaluate your choices and relationships. Your losses define who you are. Tune in each week for Good Grief with host Cheryl Jones. Our show features those who have made incredible transformations by grieving their losses. You'll learn how to find your courage and strength. You'll discover the important things in your life and how to let go of things that are less important. Good Grief airs live Wednesdays at 2 p.m. Pacific Time, 5 p.m. Eastern on Voice America Health and Wellness. Your life, your health, your network. You're listening to Voice America Health and Wellness. You're listening to America's Healer with Dr. Jason West. If you have a question for Dr. West or his guests, feel free to join us on the show at 866-472-5792. That's 866-472-5792. Now, back to the show. All right, you guys. So we have been doing one of, it's got to be one of my favorite shows. I'm so passionate about helping people to achieve and maintain optimal health. And I love being able to I give people the options of doing build up therapy. And I think this is so missed in, in, in the healthcare environment of recognizing that you can't separate the body from the mind and the mind from the body. You know, that's a segment it, we never, ever talk in the traditional medical arena about energy. And, and when I first started practice, it was all about biomechanics and biochemistry and and hormone imbalance and, and lining up the bones and, and helping all of that like work and congruency, but they didn't teach me very much about energy. And the, the longer I'm in, in practice and I've been in practice for 23 years is it, it's all about energy and it's all about I- intention. And it's all about how we're man- managing stress and worry and fear and doubt. And, and are we enough? And, and do we like ourselves? And are we accidentally and unintentionally addicted to stress? And, and so that stress can come from several, I mean, all of these different avenues, but then it's how we deal with the stress because sometimes people are addicted to a crutch, which could be chocolate. It could be sugar. It could be, it could be soda. It can be nicotine. It can be drama. It can be recreational drugs and prescription drugs. And, and some people accidentally create an environment when they can't heal because they don't know that they are creating drama and stress inside of their body because they need those neurotransmitters to file to, to, to feel a little bit better. And so in our first segment, we were talking about environmental factors and, and reasons why we get sick. And I just want to remind people like everything that I'm talking about is available through through our website, www.americashealer.com. We've got a free ebook over there, why we get sick and what to do about it. We also have a link to getting my Amazon bestseller, Hidden Secrets to Curing Your Chronic Disease. And in that book, we talk about the reasons why people get sick. You know, lifestyle choices. I think that's number one. Over-reliance on magic bullet treatments, which is literally medical marketing or over-promising. If you just take this prescription or if you just do the surgery, that you'll be happy. If you just take this happy pill, everything will be fine. Not knowing how to work through, you know, emotional conflict of relationship stress and, and financial stress and health stress and neighbor stress and, and weather stress. Like there's so many things that we assume that we can have an impact on and we can't. And yet it really, really works on our health. There's genetic factors, environmental triggers, wrong doctors, wrong treatments, financial obstacles to treatment and father time and wearing out. And so at this day, I just wanted to thank our sponsor, West Clinic Online. This is where we get to create miracles every day. We're in this wonderful little railroad town in Idaho where we have patients coming from all over the world. Yesterday, I had people from Georgia. We had people from New York, Washington, and Texas. Also had an out-of-country patient from France that was really fun to work with. And you can see these patient success stories on our blog. You can also see it on our YouTube channel. 
Whatever. I, I think we've just crested over a thousand patient, patient testimonials on lupus, on Raynaud syndrome, on cancer support therapy, on autoimmune conditions, bone on bone arthritis, failure to thrive and macular degeneration. You can see that at healthy healing TV, Dr. Jason West. That's our YouTube channel where we literally are publishing and, and creating these wonderful success stories to share people hope of out of time and out of options. We just had a wonderful patient story where we were able to beat her diagnosed breast cancer by putting her body back in balance. And so looking at how I can help you to do that is, is looking at barriers to healing and those barriers and, and how to get past those and what to do about them. And that was, again, lifestyle, environmental. Sometimes it's hard to help people because there's you know too much damage uh, from the disease. This can happen in late stage autoimmune conditions. If there's been too many uh, organic problems like that, this is the, the way that we can help people the earlier that I can get involved and, or doctors like me can get involved that, that really helps. Also, we're going to be talking about some interference fields, both intentional and unintentional. And that is that sometimes people are not sure that they always want to get better. And I have to be careful when I say that is because some people are aware of it and some people aren't aware of it because it, it, it's saying, you know, I really can't, I can't get better because of X, Y, and Z circumstances that I can't control. Sometimes they are have barriers to healing because of inner circle conflict. Like I've seen this where healthcare providers and healthcare givers, when I say providers, healthcare givers, I just had this happen not too long ago with a, a caregiver that literally received a lot of attention and energy for being the caregiver to the patient. And literally everything we were trying to do for the patient was suppressed by the caregiver. And, and it was, and, and I think that there was a little bit of awareness behind it, but there was a lot of unintentional conflict where the grandma in this case had, had the rights to take care of the child. So the mom was out of the picture and the grandma's whole focus was my sick grandchild. And then what happened is there was a circumstance where there was a significant break and the grandchild was out of that arena for several months and she got enormously better. And so that was one, like, that's not always the case, but sometimes that happens. And of course there's financial barriers where it's really difficult for people to afford to get better because it takes some investment and it, and it takes some work to do that. And so there's are things that, that we try and navigate and we try and help people through. And so let's start talking about interference fields and nerve memory, because if as a listener, if there's nothing else to get from the show, just want to share with you this gem that occurs, which is a nerve memory reset. And so this is part of, there's a whole bunch of different things that, that we can call this. I really like calling it the nerve reboot theory. Or there's other doctors that call it different things, but it, I think it's something that's really been unique at the West Clinic. And number one, it's unique because it's part of our whole system or our treatment plan. So here's basically the background for it. And, and every once in a while, I'll have someone come into the office that has had a significant trauma. And this is a, a really good way to illustrate this point. Sometimes it's accidental and sometimes it's come from infection. So let me give you both parameters for that. So the first thing is every once in a while, I'll be working with a roper or, or, or a rancher and they'll be out practicing roping on the, the, the cows. And I jokingly say, like, I love working with ropers because they're so good for business. They're, they're really always hurting themselves, jumping off a horse, uh, roping, lifting a hay bale, loading their horse into a trailer, dropping the trailer, accidentally getting bucked off. And so, you know, when people are, are in a really healthy state and they're like, Dr. West, what should I do now? I always jokingly, you should get a horse because 
I know that the, the, something's going to happen and they're, they're going to need me for something. And of course, I have a soft spot for roper and ranchers because I see a lot of them in the office. The same thing can be said for my hobby, which is dirt bike riding, but it also is is part of life. Like no one wants to have, you know, a slip and fall. No one wants to, you know, accidentally run into something or or to be in a car accident and, and causing some trauma. But as I'm working with these ranchers or rodeo guys, every once in a while they'll be out practicing. They'll get a, a rope caught around, you know, around the animal. They'll be going over to, you know, disengage or something like the rope will get caught around their finger. The animal takes off. And I've seen a lot of missing fingers and the patient will come into the office and be like, Hey, Dr. West, my finger is killing me. And it's because we had this nerve uh, problem where we stretch the nerve. They call it neural praxis. It's a specific type of injury. And the patient will say, my finger's killing me. It's not even attached to their body. And we have the nerve that's going the peripheral nerve to the central nervous system up into the brain that's saying, I hurt, I hurt, I hurt. We call that phantom limb syndrome. And so the medical treatments most of the time is to put you on some type of, you know, nerve medicine, um, some very common ones, you know, Neurontin or Gabapentin or something like that. And, and that is one way to treat it. Now that's not my favorite way to treat it, but it's a common medical way to treat it. Another thing that can happen is to have, you know, a post infection problem. And, and unfortunately, sometimes this happens with shingles where the patient will have a virus that's around that gets infected to the nerve, it follows a nerve pathway, what we call a dermatome. And what happens is the infection comes out, that's the body responds. Most of the time, the, the body, it'll go away. And then what happens is that you will, everything will be fine, but sometimes the infection looks like it's completely gone and the nerve root is inflamed and irritated. And it's just like an infection, even though there's no lesions or anything. And we call that post herpetic neuralgia or post herpes virus nerve pain. And, and it can be absolutely miserable. So you can have trauma that causes nerve problems. You can have infection that nerve problems. And guess what? If people have been sick for a really long time, one of the reasons why they don't get better is there's this there's this nerve memory associated with organ function or tissue or muscle function and and that is an interference field and and the other thing it can be really really hard on your emotions because what it, what occurs is your brain says like I want to live healthy and I want to be happy and I I remember what it's like to be that way and then after this nerve memory sets in either from an infection or an imbalance or trauma, the nervous system recalibrates at a lower level. So if we just took a numerical scale, like, you know, zero was death and 10 was perfect happiness. What can happen is that nerve can reset like around, you know, two or three for the organ. It can be muscles, it can be liver, it can be stomach. And so your mind's like, oh, I really want to be healthy. And the nervous system is like, yeah, we've been sick for so long. This is normal to us. So if your body was a computer and we called up tech support and tech support said, well, you just need to reboot the system. You needed to turn everything off. You need to turn everything on. There is an interference field mechanism that was literally created by a father son combination of Dr. Hunicke in, in Germany, literally a century ago. It was picked up by a world famous doctor uh, named Dr. Travell that uh, started doing an amazing work with trigger point therapy. This is one way that you can help to reset the muscles, but there are also ways to reset the organs and there is a way to reset the nerve that comes out of the brain and goes to the central nervous system. And then that nerve, it starts to go through the organs and it goes through the muscles to the skin. That's one way that nerves are innervated or it goes through basically the cranial nerves or the vagus nerve. Now, the vagus nerve is named the wandering nerve. Uh, vagus means Latin for wanderer, and it goes everywhere. And this is why when people have spinal cord injury and they can be, you know, paralyzed from, you know, the low back down, the mid back down or the neck down, and yet they're able to survive because the cranial nerve that basically goes out the little holes at the bottom of the skull, instead of going down through the central nervous system, it goes directly to the 
to the organs. And there's a way to help reset that. And that is these, the neural therapy, the nerve reboot therapy, and there's a specific glycolized ester of, of a B vitamin that makes the nerves open and then it makes them close and then it makes them reset. So that is the nerve reboot therapy. And we call these areas of blockage disturbance fields. And so it can be, again, from trauma, it can be from infection, it can be from a scar. So on my on my membership program, every Wednesday night at seven o'clock, I have a special program that's available for people where we literally do a virtual office visit where they can ask me anything. And I love doing this. It's probably my favorite hour of the week because I'm just in front of a, as a Zoom, a video conference a system. And, and literally, I can just ask, ask questions. And, and by the way, if you're interested in, in participating in that program, just send an email to info at westclinicconline.com. And, and we have this wonderful question and answer period. You, can, you have the opportunity to do a virtual office visit and ask any questions about your health, your loved one's health, and everything inside of that program. We call the program the Thrivers Program. And the best way to, to reach out to me, info at westclinicconline.com or check out our website that I keep talking about, you know, americashealer.com. And I'm sorry to, if you're listening to this, that I keep giving you multiple places to go, but I, I haven't thought about extending that offer for people and, and being able to literally tell people there is a way to reboot things. So we call that nerve hyperpolarization, which means we have an influx and the nerve synapses, like they open up. And then there was what's called a depolarization, which they kind of close down. And then what happens is we have a recalibration called repolarization. So we open up and we close and we reset. And I've seen such amazing things happen for resetting organ function and resetting, you know, how the stomach works. And there's a way to really help with chronic headache problems. There's a way to help with complex regional pain syndrome. There's a way to help with, you know, the post-herpetic neuralgia, which is if the pain from shingles hasn't gone away after the infection leaves and, and phantom limb syndrome and phantom gallbladder syndrome are, are things that respond. And there's so many different ways to help with, you know, reactive arthritis and, and chronic pain patterns that it was just something that we have to talk about in inference field. So we can have things that cause those, you know, infections, physical trauma, emotional therapy. And if we put the building blocks in place and helping you to literally, we want to pull in a truckload of two by fours of plywood, of sheetrock, so that you can literally remodel your house. But the analogy is, is that you can remodel your body. And then we got to get rid of uh, of the toxins and things that cause it. We have to do some things that help emotions. And when we do that, we literally get these amazing life-changing experiences by helping to get the interference fields out of the system. It's such a big part of healing that is so often overlooked. I mean, most of the medical treatment recommendations are, look, we, you're, something's off. Let's give you some type of drug therapy to basically stabilize that and then we'll keep you on that for life. And if it doesn't work, we can, you know, up the dosage or or cert certain things that are required surgical intervention, especially, you know, trauma and compound fractures and, and bones that don't heal and stuff like that. Or if we have a diseased gallbladder or if we have, you know, a cancerous tumor or lesion, like thank goodness that there's a way to get them out. But there's also and over-reliance, oh, well, your stomach's not working right. Oh, well, I think it's your gallbladder. You know, let's take your gallbladder out. Like, I've seen that happen so many times when people said, like, my stomach was a mess. They took it out. And by the way, it didn't really help. Like, I still have the problem. So part of the solutions process, and we're going to do this after the break, is looking at, okay, what's a, what else can we do to help interference fields? How can we get it uh, back on the pathway? What are some of the most important treatments that you haven't heard about? that you would want to work with a doctor like me or, or come to the clinic and, and be able to, to experience some of the miracles that we see people and putting yourself in an environment when you're able to really thrive. 
and and I love being able to do this. Like I know that that there's people out there that have found their dream job, and it can be in you know in construction and finance, and and in farming and in ranching, and, and in legal work. And there's so many different pathways, and I respect that. And for me, my sole purpose and my pathway is to help people to get back in balance and to achieve and maintain optimal health. This is the Dr. Jason West Show. It's America's Healer. For resources, check us out on www.americashealer.com and stick around for all of the information about interference fields after the break. We'll see you in just a few minutes. Voice America is on LinkedIn. Connect with us today. These days, everyone is looking for information on staying young, healthy, and fit. The Voice America Health and Wellness Network is here to help you on your quest to better health and a better you. We talk about everything from diet, fitness, and aging to substance abuse, personal growth, mental health, and much more. Learn from our experts who cover health and wellness from traditional and holistic perspectives. Tune in to the Voice America Health and Wellness Network. Healthy living starts here. Voice America programs are now available on your favorite connected device, including Amazon, Alexa, and Google Home. Through streams with Apple Podcasts, TuneIn, and iHeartRadio, listening to your favorite show is as easy as saying the show name followed by the word podcast. Hey, Alexa, play Finding Your Frequency podcast. If that doesn't work, try adding on TuneIn or on iHeartRadio or on Apple Podcasts. Resiliency is the human capacity to lean into individual and collective strengths with compassion and grit when faced with the challenges of lived experience. Join host Elaine miller Karras for Resiliency Within, a program of hope and healing designed to inspire you to integrate wellness into your life, your family, and your community. In challenging times, you'll want to tune in every week. Resiliency Within can be heard every Monday at 1 p.m. Pacific Time and 4 p.m. Eastern Time on the Voice America Health and Wellness Channel. Your life, your health, your network. You're listening to Voice America Health and Wellness. You're listening to America's Healer with Dr. Jason West. If you have a question for Dr. West or his guests, feel free to join us on the show at 866-472-5792. That's 866-472-5792. Now, back to the show. All right, you guys, it's got to be one of my favorite shows. It's all about putting people back in balance to looking at removing barriers to healing and interference fields. I get really excited and passionate about this. And one of my listeners just sent me a text that says, Dr. West, like, I know you love this stuff. Just tell us where to get the resources. And I, and people, I get so excited to mention this, that sometimes my brain goes faster than my mouth. And then I'm like, oh, I want to make sure I'm delivering value, delivering value. And so I get going really fast. And so I'm going to slow down just a little bit and just tell people, look, I wrote a book about this. I've written five books. One of them was an Amazon bestseller called Hidden Secrets to Curing Your Chronic Disease. And then I decided, okay, there needs to be more structure around it. I wrote another book called Hidden Secrets to Daily Living, which is about your life and and recipes. And then I wrote a smaller book because that one's pretty big. I wrote another one called The Clean Eating Guide. And then we wrote one called why we get sick and what to do about that. And that's our free ebook that's available on the radio show website. It's americashealer.com. We talk about this interference fields and how to reset those. It's not just me saying that I have literally a thousand patient success stories. Our recent ones are about literally things that are untreatable in the medical world, like Parkinson's disease. We have a wonderful success story of a patient that took on breast cancer head on. Her story is motivating and and literally she's a hundred percent better. We have another one about autoimmune disorders. We have failure to thrive and macular degeneration and bone on bone arthritis 
and complex regional pain syndrome, all of those are, are just examples of what happens when you put people back together. And so I wanted to give you guys a roadmap on what you can do if you're not feeling right or if you're in a, a place where there, there isn't a real clear medical pathway forward, or if you've had medical treatments that have been non-responsive and you're looking for a pathway forward, like, hey, let me give you some ideas about that. So the first thing that I would recommend is like, we got to take control. And, and, and here's what happens. The body loves a schedule. The body craves order. So if we have our biochemistry pathways working right, and a perfect example of this is when we move, it's so a, such an important part of health. We need to move. Movement is life. And sometimes what happens is people, they can't move or they don't feel like moving. And then what happens is it compounds and makes everything worse. And so a commitment to doing some type of movement. Now, this doesn't mean you have to go and spend two or three hours a day in the gym or run an Ironman competition or a marathon. But like part of the way that we get rid of toxins and pollutants and, and problems in our system is we have to have the muscles contract to push the lymph system, the lymphatic fluid, to push it into circulation. But even more importantly than that, when, when oxygen is the final acceptor of different biomechanical processes, the main one is the electron transport chain, then the outcome is energy, carbon dioxide, and water. When we don't have movement, we don't have oxygen, what happens is the byproducts are pyruvate and lactic acid. And people that don't have good detox pathways, like it's like they, they're working out, their muscles get sore, but they feel that way all the time. And we call that fibromyalgia or, or you know, we can get chronic fatigue syndrome and things like that. And so just starting at high level steps, like here's a way, here's a pathway forward to help you live at your highest level. And number one, is like to get your body on a schedule. Like I've found such amazing outcomes. It sounds too simple, but like just start at, at, at this pop process. Like if we can literally go to bed at the same time and get up at the same time and, and eat the same time. And if we have a workout schedule at the same time, and I know this isn't always possible for, you know, shift work for people, you know, truckers that are on the road uh, frequently for people that, don't have a good stress outlet and fear, worry, doubt build up and it makes it so that you can't sleep light. Like I recognize that there's some obstacles that we need to go, but to the extent that we can put our bodies on a schedule, this is the first thing that, that I'd recommend. That's number one. Number two is again, seems too simple to be true. I have a, I have a patient that comes from a medical school back East. He's the Dean of the school and he was in, in a tick environment, he got bit by a tick. He was actually embedded. They literally surgically had to remove it and he got Lyme disease. He went through the conventional medical pathway and of, of long-term, you know, antibiotics and it caused some unwanted, undesired side effects in his stomach and some other things. He kind of felt like he swapped one disease for another disease and, and he heard about me and he's come out to the office and we've had some really, really good outcomes with him and multiple times we've been able to discussion. He's like, sometimes Dr. West, it's almost like I can't believe you because it's too simple. You know, literally get your body on schedule. The next thing is we got to get water inside of the system, like healthy amounts of water, eat healthy and alive food that's close to the ground. And what I mean by that close to the ground food means if you get a carrot out of the ground and you wash it off and you eat, I think that's really, really healthy for you. And you can substitute literally any vegetable. I, I just use carrots. But if we take that carrot and we turn it into carrot cake, it's a lot less healthy than the carrot. That's what I mean by putting your, um, your close to your food to the ground. And then I think one of the most important things is to make sure that we're covering all of the bases with a really good multivitamin, multimineral complex. Um, this is one of the things that I've created for myself, it's called the Superheroes Essential Program. Like I designed a product of saying, this is what I want to take where I can be healthy, that I can literally jump over buildings, walk through walls, rescue damsels in distress. And, and so we call this Superheroes Essential Pack, where I'm like, if I just take those, that'll be really good. So that's just a one example, but a, a good baseline where you're covering things like, you know, vitamin C and vitamin D3, 
are really good. Making sure that you have some magnesium. And I love CoQ10 because it helps the muscles to be healthy. And making sure that we have the right kind of calcium. Like if you take the wrong kind of calcium, it's too hard. I think it really causes a lot of problems, particularly cardiovascular disease. If you take the right kind of calcium, a soft absorbable calcium, like it's life-saving. And this is one of the problems with, again, the healthcare delivery system, because so many times you're told, well, just, you know, hey, take calcium to prevent osteoporosis. And if it's the wrong kind, like it makes your arteries hard. And so we did with a baseline. And then the next thing is the nerve reboot pair. This is interference fields. So I just wanted to, to go through quickly some options for one of the best places to start is to make sure that there is liberation around scars. Scars are one of the biggest causes of long-term health problems in the scar interference fields because if we've had an accidental cut, a scrape, a, a surgery, an accident, when we disrupt the nerve flow, what happens is the function of the autonomic nervous system can be altered and the signals can be inappropriately challenged. And so one of the biggest things that we can do to help people is to make sure we have good energy flow up and down the body. Now we can apply this in the acupuncture, consider acupuncture world um, where we want to liberate energy. And so we can release scars and you can do this with wheat germ oil and you can do this with dimethyl sulfur oxide. You, there's a laser treatment. There's an acupuncture treatment. There are considerations. But one thing that I would encourage you, find a doctor that understands scars. Now, we have a free report on the scar therapy. If you get to our website, americashealer.com, we have a report that, that talks about the importance of scars and things like that. That's one thing. Also, it's really important to do what's called segmental therapy, and that's treating the skin over affected organs, like for stomach problems, if, if there's a specific way to treat the skin by using an advanced European therapy, it's the nerve reboot therapy that can help stomach problems and it can help heart problems and it can help lung problems. In my experience, it's really amazing for asthma. There's a way to treat chronic headaches. There's a way to really help sinus problems. And there's a way to help chronic pain problems and back problems by literally getting those nerves to open and to close and to reset. That's the purpose of the show was to tell people about this amazing therapy uh, of how to remove interference fields and then getting on a pathway like the hidden secrets to curing your chronic disease pathway is literally this recommendation. Get your body on a schedule, get enough water, eat healthy and alive foods, find a doctor that you really mesh with that you can respect each other and you can educate each other and have a really nice plan by looking at the different types of blood tests and assessments and hormone treatments and energy evaluations, and then finding what you need and putting it in place so that you can put the building blocks inside of the system. Metaphorically, you can use two by fours and plywood and sheetrock to really help the body and then reset the nervous system. And then use body like building blocks as the way to help people. And I love that Hippocratic statement, let energy be thy medicine and medicine be thy food. And, and we want to use the traditional treatments that are, that are sometimes used in the wrong pathway. Like we should use prescriptive and surgical interventions when all else fails. And so lifestyle therapy, medical nutritional therapy, using oxygen, having a stress management pathway and having a neural therapy reboot system and, and some advanced therapies with vitamin IV infusion and, and acupuncture and herbal therapy are so fantastic. It has been so fun to be with you today. It's my passion to help people achieve and maintain optimal health. It's the Dr. Jason West program. I'm America's healer. Everything that we've talked about is in my book, why we get sick and what to do about it. You can pick it up on americashealer.com. I'm so excited to share this information for a few. You're not your diagnosis. There's a person in there. And I just wanted to use that as a sign off. You can beat your disease. I'm Dr. Jason West, americashealer.com. 
Thanks for tuning in to today's episode. America's healer, Dr. Jason West, will be back next week to share more of his expertise. So don't miss it. 